Hi everyone, hola a todos. Um, I don't know if you can hear me, if you can confirm that you are able to see me and hear me on the chat, I will be super grateful for that. Awesome, thank you. Awesome guys, so hola a todos, hi everyone. We're doing this session in English because we have people from all Latin America, including Brazil. So we're doing this in English. So I wanted to welcome you guys. My name is Carla Plasencia and I will be the moderator for this session. Thank you very, very much um, everyone for being here today. I hope that you find this live session super interesting and that you will be able to engage and clarify all your doubts. So I will explain super fast how this would work. First of all, we have the chat here where you can tell us where you're from, which country are you from, where you base, what time is it, where you are, anything that you would like to share with us. And if you have any questions during the presentation, you can share them here on the questions. That is the second window on your chat tab. And perfect, okay, so. I'm going to introduce you to our presenter today. She's Camille. Welcome, Camille. Thank you so much for being here today. Hello, guys. Hi, Carla. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm really glad to be here today, and I hope I will uh, make sure that I deliver the right information. Uh, of course, uh, I will always be available to answer any question that people have in the chat, so don't hesitate to reach out for anything and yeah. <laughs> awesome, okay. So I'm going to go backstage. The stage is yours and mm -hmm. thank you everyone. Okay, so this is my turn to speak. And uh, well, first of all, I'm super happy to be here. So I see people from Peru, from Brazil, from Argentina, Colombia. Uh, yeah, so yeah, please t let me know what country you are from. I'm really, um, I'm, I'm really interested in knowing where you come from and what type of information maybe you're looking for so that I can go in the right direction. Ecuador, okay, Paraguay, wow, we have such a diversity. This is perfect. Okay. So my name is Camille. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's very French pronunciation, um, <laughs> uh, but it looks like Camilla. So if you need, I see a Camilla, by the way, on the chat. So we have the same first name. Uh, so I am uh, the manager for international development at Burgundy School of Business, uh, which is the school you're seeing here. Um, so we are a French business school. Uh, so I will explain in details. This, you have a picture of our front entrance, by the way. Um, and this is the updated presentation I'm going to do. And hopefully I will give all the information you might need and uh, make sure to answer so to your questions, as I said. So let's get going. <laughs> um, the first thing maybe you want to know is where we are located. So France is a very, very small country. Also, I, I see a lot of people from Brazil, so obviously we are much, much smaller. Um, but we are located in Dijon. So I put this little map of France for you because usually I know that people can maybe locate Paris, the capital city. We are quite close to, to Paris. Uh, we are one hour and 14 minutes away. Um, so. Um, this is quite close, but this is Dijon is a middle-sized city, which means that the living expenses are more affordable. Um, I think it's the same thing as in your own country, but uh, in the capital city, the living expenses are often quite high and it's often quite, um, yeah, expensive globally, not only the accommodation, but also the transportation, things like that. So it's true that being in a middle-sized city, human-sized with everything you need, you can see some pictures here of not only the city, but also the region. Uh, maybe you know us about the mustard. That's why I put the picture of the mustard for Dijon mustard. Uh, that's something we're known for, but you can see this is really our place and our city. It's super nice. Um, I hope that all of you can come and visit, even if it's not 
to study, but at least to visit the area, it's super great. Um, also for the wine lovers, it's really something to look at because we are the capital city of Burgundy, hence the name Burgundy School of Business, by the way. Um, but it's really, we are at the uh, world's most famous vineyards. So we are really in the middle of these vineyards. So for those who are into wine and spirits, it's a place that you should definitely know. But we also have great uh, food. So for the foodies out there, I'm pretty sure some of you are interested in that. <laughs> uh, it's great at least to visit. I really encourage you to come and, and see by yourself. Um, so this is our historical campus, so the one I just mentioned, and it's been six months that we actually have opened a, oh, thank you, you think architecture you like, thanks a lot. You should Google it and you'll see more about the city. <laughs> um, and then, as I said, so we have another campus located in Lyon. So Lyon, it's the second biggest French city. Um, so it's a bigger city. Uh, it has a pros and cons. Huh? So, I mean, the goal is that everyone can find the best option for you, depending on your, your profile and your expectations. Um, so Lyon is also quite close to Paris also, Marseille, but there are a lot of European cities which are connected. Um, the fact, the, the biggest asset of this city is the job opportunities. Uh, that's why we put our campus there. So you can see some pictures of the city and the campus. It's brand new, as I said, it's been opened six months ago in, uh, I think, in, in um, February. So a little bit more than that now. <laughs> uh, but it's a very big um, student city also with a lot of job opportunities, as I said, which is important to take into account when choosing your, your location, I guess. Okay, so these are about our location. I, by the way, if you have any question, ping me as much as you want. <laughs> I'm here to answer. Then, um, it's always a good question when it comes to your education. Uh, it's, oh, you lived in Marseille. Okay, so you, you should know Lyon then, maybe. <laughs> Um, Lyon is on the road to Paris, basically. Okay, so accreditations and rankings, because often uh, the second question besides location is how I, um, how do I choose the right school for me? How do I pick, how do I know what the quality is like? Uh, how do I know what program is really made for me? Um, and that's a very good question. I really think that the school is looking for students, a certain type of students, but the students are also looking for a certain type of school. So the goal is to find the perfect match that you will be a good fit for the school and the school will fit you perfectly. In France, there are a lot of business schools, 250. It's really hard to understand uh, the different categories of education. It's always something that's quite tricky and every country is very different about that. So I can understand that some international students might feel lost in all this, um, but you have to know that uh, we are actually among the best group of business schools. And I'm not saying it, big, well, it's true, obviously, <laughs> but I really encourage you to do your own research on how education systems work so that you can check by yourself what I'm saying. Um, so we are part of the best groups. First of all, the group that is recognized by the French Ministry of Education and the French government. Only 38 schools are in that case, uh, in the Conférence des Grandes Écoles, which is like the most exclusive group of, of, uh, of uh, business schools and also engineering schools, by the way. So uh, we are ranked 14th this year in all the rankings, so you can definitely look into it. Um, of course, we are part of different rankings and it's true that rankings might vary a little bit. Um, so, of course, we are, uh, we are, I always talk about the financial times because to me it's a ranking that is, first of all, quite well done. Uh, it's uh, done in an objective way. Uh, the criteria is very clear and I think the schools who participate in this ranking are good schools globally. So you can really see the level. So worldwide we are ranked 63rd. Uh, in France we are ranked 15th in this ranking. So it gives you an additional idea, right? 
Okay, and then you have to look into the accreditations. So that's why I named this um, this uh, slide also accreditations and rankings. So accreditations, we have both the two only accreditations who accredited the whole school and not only one program. So AACSB and Equus. So the American accreditation and the European accreditation, which leads us to being the top one in the top one percent of business schools in the world. Of course, we are also partners with the most important institutions, such as Campus France, who has delivered us a label called Bienvenue en France, which means welcome to France. And this label we had because um, we actually have a good quality of welcoming international students. So it's good to know. Yeah, so I hope that makes it clear. Um, is it possible? I see a lot of questions about uh, do you need to speak French to study in France? So, no, I can answer to that now, but then uh, I'll, I'll make sure to do the FHs at the end. You don't need to learn any French to come and study with us. All our programs are actually um, study, uh, uh, taught in English. You can study in French if you want, but that's your choice. And if you do not know any French, we will make sure to offer you free French classes so that you can, uh, first of all, learn. I think it's part of the experience and of the culture, but also make sure that you are comfortable in your daily life. Uh, for example, um, going to the groceries, uh, speaking also to the people. I think it's important. So if you do not know any French and you want to study, it's not a problem at all. And if you already know a little bit of French, we will make sure that you get better in any case. <laughs> okay. So let's go and uh, start talking about the programs. So I have different types of programs for you. I won't dive into too many details uh, so that I'm not uh, annoying. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> um, but just so that you you can get a uh, an idea about what we offer. Um, so. First of all, I want to say that we have programs for people who finished high school. So it's, it is the program you are checking now. Bachelor in Management, this is the undergraduate program. Then we do have a postgraduate program. So Master in Management and Masters of Science. We also have MBAs. I, I'm, uh, um, I, I will definitely let you know about these. Okay, so I'll start by this program, which is the most junior. This is the program that you can do right after high school. Um, so if you finish high school, you can go and enter this program, Bachelor in Management. The big difference between uh, often Latin American countries is that in Europe, the bachelors last three years only, and it is an uh, undergraduate program but it gives you the exact same recognition, not only in France, but for what as a four year or five years program. OK, so this is good to take into account because you study less time and you can uh, find out more out of it. So what is the goal of this program? It's to give you a quite generalist view of what happens in the company. Uh, making sure that you know about marketing, finance, economics, also uh, business management. That's the idea. Uh, you have three years of studies, as I said, and the goal is also that you get better with uh, foreign languages. So English, obviously, and a second language, which in your case would probably be French. And you can definitely take a third language if you want. Uh, we have that an, as an option. So you don't have to pay extra for this, but if you want to learn Japanese or Mandarin or Arabic, uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we do have that for you. How did we build this program? So one thing you have to know about our school is that our goal is to offer you the best uh, employability after the studies. So in order to do that, we created curriculas that are updated every year. First of all, we are always reaching out to companies to know what are the skills that you need towards your student, the, the, the graduates that you will re uh, recruit, you know. Um, that's the first thing. Second is that we make sure that you gain professional experience during the program. So, of course, we have face to face classes, just like everyone knows, so regular classes. We, but each summer you will have to do an internship. 
for example, this program lasts three years, so it means you will have three internships by the end of the program. So three additional lines to put on your resume. That's going to make a big difference with those who do not have any professional experience. Often, professional experience is what young students are lacking. So this makes sense that we try to help you with that. Okay. So I listed some courses that you can find in this program, marketing, business, finance, entrepreneurship, communication. We also want to um, develop some soft skills around you. So critical thinking, international management, law, economics, distribution, public speaking, etc. This is just an overview, right? Then you can find specializations in the last year of the program, but I, I won't uh, dive into these two, two because it's quite specific. Then you can see that you have the tuition fees listed here. Um, so for the program for three years, the tuition fees are 8,200 euros per year. So that's how it goes. And you can apply just with the diploma and a language proficiency test. So IELTS, TOEIC, TOEFL, the one you prefer. Okay, so I hope this is quite clear. Let me see if... Uh, so about the scholarships, I'll explain that just at the end when I'm explaining the admissions, if you're okay. Um, and then uh, about the age for this program. So as it's aimed to students who finished high school, often we have people who are 17, 18, 19. We do not have a, a age criteria, but uh, it's true that people over 20 or 21 do not usually apply for this program. Okay, so let's uh, switch to another program, which is called the Master in Management. So I'm actually a, an alumni of this program. I studied this program, so I can talk about it. If you have a question to ask me as a former student, you can ping me in the chat. Um, so the Master in Management is also called Grande École Pro Program, which means a great school because we are part of the best schools. So that's why it's named after this way. Uh, so this is really our flagship historical program that we've been teaching since 1899, so for 120 years. It's a program that really we uh, are experts in teaching uh, and that we really want to uh, continue building. How did we build it, by the way? So it's a two-year program, this one. It's a two-year master, uh, but you can definitely custom build it and make sure that you have your um, the best employability afterwards, okay? Um, we built it around also three pillars, so academic excellence, unique pedagogy, and also everything that goes around, that is to say the experience and the student life. So you can apply for this program after a bachelor's degree or licenciatura, for example, uh, and you will have to study for two years to get it. OK, it's entirely English taught or French taught, as I said, um, about the living, uh, the tuition fees. Sorry, it is 11,500 euros per year. Hi, every newcomer. Then I'm proceeding with the Masters of Science. So again, this is aimed at people who already have a bachelor's degree or a licenciatura. The big difference is that these Masters of Science are already specialized and are shorter because they last one year. It's really good for people who already know what they want to do after their studies. Uh, so if you have a very specific idea, like for example, I want to be a data scientist, that's, that's what is made for you. So I have listed the programs here so that you have an idea. Uh, of course, today I don't, I won't have time to dive into um all of them so much but just so that you can get a, a grasp of it so we have the MS, msc corporate finance and investment banking we also have a new program msc climate change and corporate finance uh our, one of our pride also is the msc arts and cultural management so i put that there but for this program we actually ranked first in france so we're really proud it's been four years now MSc Data Science and Organizational Behavior. It's really interesting, really uh, focused on the science, but it's it's super, super amazing. Um, we have the MX, MSc Luxury Management and Innovation. Uh, we have the 
MSc in Artificial Intelligence and Digital Technology Management. This one has been created two years ago and it's really something that has been going up in terms of uh, the company's need um, because they need graduates who have management um, uh, management skills related to artificial intelligence. And last but not least, it's a new program too, MST Green Tech and Sustainable Societies. So here it is, you have the list. And uh, it's really, as I said, programs done for those who know what they need to, to, to do, to what they already um, have a, a precise career goal in mind, we can say. All these programs cost 14,000 euros. Uh, if you already have a background in business, we have a very, very interesting scheme is that you can study this program and get two diplomas at the end. I can explain that in detail also. Okay. Let me dive into the next part. And then again, I, if I didn't answer your question, I'll do it at the end, no worries. Okay, so uh, we have a special thing inside our campus that I need to tell you about. This is our School of Wine and Spirits business. I told you that we were in the heart of the best, world's best vineyards. Uh, so we couldn't do otherwise than teaching wine and spirits business. It's been over 30 years now that we are uh, really pioneers and experts in that field. Um, we are really proud that we are ranked first in this expertise. So it's really something that for those of you who might be interested, uh, you, you should definitely look into it. Uh, we have a great region, great area. Uh, it's also part of the culture for sure, because it's so unique that it's really something that uh, we are as, as citizens are used to, that it's something that you should experience, as I said, even on a touristic way someday, you have to check it. It's really, it's really special. It's really great. So we do have this wine and spirits uh, education. We have five programs. Um, so for any of you who might be interested, I, uh, it really aims at people who already are quite advanced on their knowledge, on their also career. So that's why we have an MBA. But it, if you want to learn about it and you are a beginner, we also have programs that can uh, be an interest for you because uh, we have, for example, the MSc Wine Management. It's entirely English taught. And if you know nothing about the industry and you want to learn and you want to work in that industry, um, that's a big plus. Okay. A few words about the school itself, and then I will make sure to go back to your questions with the help of Carla. <laughs> so this is our campus. You have a pictures uh, you can see. So we were founded in 1899, guys. We are one of the oldest business schools in the world. That's really something to take into account. Um, we, it's not because we are an old school that we don't have a modern campus. That's why I emphasize on the pictures. <laughs> but we really, our, our pedagogy is really to make sure that you have all the practical and effective learning spaces. Uh, we believe that students will learn in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. So that's why. So we have also obviously study rooms, classrooms, but also have a gym, a dance hall, a music studio. So uh, we also have a financial trading room, a cultural center. We really try our best so that you have everything that you need on the campus and that you can, uh, I mean, grow and learn uh, with everything that we put at your disposal. What makes us special also is that our campus is actually located in the city center of Dijon. Uh, I think it's the same in uh, the countries that uh, you guys come from. But often the campuses, you know, they're outside of the city, like 20 minutes away or something. We are really in the city center. It makes a big difference because you are five minutes away from all the working, uh, the, the major streets. Uh, you can uh, at lunchtime go out and do a small tour, uh, visit a museum, go to a restaurant. It's super nice and it's part of the global experience, really. Also, we are quite a, a green city, so we don't have a lot of pollution uh, and we have a, 
electric public transport system, which is not only affordable, but quite convenient. And of course, we have a lot of partner institutions uh, all around the world. So if you are interested in uh, uh, studying also for an exchange program while studying with us, uh, it's something that's possible, but it depends on the, on the program. So I would need to dive into details. Uh, if you have questions about it, I can definitely go, go for it. Um, but what I can tell in addition to this is that we have an internal dedicated team to make sure that we are well welcomed and well integrated into your new student life. That's something that makes a difference. And that's why we have these logos of campus friends here, because we were accredited for this quality of welcoming. So we try always to improve ourselves, but that's good to know that we are not only here to recruit you uh, we always say at BSB, you are not a number, but that's that's the, the idea that we want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. Okay, and then one big thing I couldn't not tell you guys about, <laughs> uh, the career part. Of course, uh, to me, I always say, you know, education is only a way to reach a goal. And the goal is the career. So that's why we have uh, a service and a team dedicated to your employability. It's called the Career Booster for a reason. <laughs> you can see the screenshot here. So we have a actually a website only for our students where they can find everything, not only the company profiles, the different types of jobs that exist in each company, um, but also a list of um internship offers job opportunities it's really extensive um, you can also find the list of professional conferences so each week we have at least 10 events happening uh, they can be remote they can be face to face but it's really something so you can register for all the events on this platform it's uh, a super job and it's super useful so it's part of the resources that we we give you as a student we also do a job fair. Uh, so we have uh, 60 companies who come only to recruit you as a BSB student for internship, first job, uh, anything. And we have a set of uh, specialized coaches who do speak English or uh, sometimes even Spanish. So <laughs> I, I cannot comment on that though. <laughs> um, but you can take appointments as much as you want with these coaches. Uh, so that you can have an individual talk. For example, if you think that you need help on building a better resume, it's okay. So you take an appointment with the coach, the coach will help you do your resume. Uh, or how to get better at a job interview. Uh, it's still something that sometimes you be trained, you need training to, to get better, right? So everything related to this, it can be individual, it can be a group talk, we deliver this uh, unlimited. And obviously the alumni network, which I am part of, uh, uh, it's super useful and something that uh, you will need in your to, to build your future career. Okay, now it's time to talk about the admissions. <laughs> so sorry to keep you pending until the end, but I wanted to make sure that you had uh, all the info. Okay, so how to apply? So uh, we tried to make it as easy as we could. So um, we have four easy steps. So let me let me explain. So on our website, you have the application form. So whatever program you will choose, whatever language, uh, there is only one application file and it's there. Um, this way, you can really um, just follow the steps that we created for you. The application form itself is super easy. It's super smooth. Um, we have uh, just one thing to mention is that depending on the program you will choose, you will have a 20 minutes oral interview to pass because we do not only ask you to uh, fill in a, a form, you know, putting your attachments. We need to know also about your personality. So that's why we, we ask you to do an oral motivation interview, which is graded by the head of the program that you chose, by the way. So you can start applying now. Applications are open for September 2022 intake. 
which is our next intake. Intakes are only in September, by the way. Uh, but the global deadline is July 15th. So you see you have time. So that's why it's really good that you are actually coming here today. It's quite early, but it's really good that you take the time to anticipate and grab the information now. Um, and we have rolling admissions, which means you can apply anytime you want and get a response in less than a month. So all included, uh, once you give us everything in two to three weeks, usually we can let you know if you are admitted or not. So that's a big plus because you can really know where you are going. Then second step. So let's say you are accepted and you are admitted. You are offered an admission. This is great news. So we will, of course, notify you about that. Um, the next step to confirm your admission is to pay a deposit. The amount of the deposit varies depending on the program, but you can check our website about the um, admissions uh, details so that you can uh, really see the differences between each program. I will uh, make sure to send you the link in the chat later. Um, so once you have paid this deposit, uh, it's like for us the sign that you are confirmed, you have confirmed your admission. Then let's talk about the scholarships. I also see there are questions about that. So we do have scholarships dedicated to international students for all our programs taught in English, though. The French taught programs, uh, like, well, I don't think anyone is would be in that case, but uh, so you will have uh, scholarships for international students to all our programs. Um, the scholarships are about the first years of the tuition fees. So for those who might choose, for example, bachelor's degree, uh, it's for the first year only, but it goes from 25% to 50% of the tuition fees. So we do not have total per scholarships, the, the entirety of the tuition fees cannot be waived, but still 25 to 50%, for example, if you choose an MSc, the MSc is 14,000. If you have a 50% scholarship, it, it really makes a huge difference, right? So I would say that really de de depends on the program, but it can be a very, very big advantage. Also, uh, you do not need to do an extra step to enroll in the scholarship. So by applying to BSB, you automatically take it into consideration to have a scholarship. That's the good thing because you don't have to do any extra step um, to, to, to get it right. And you will be, so we do have scholarships committee every month so that you can have also quickly an answer about, okay, are you admitted? But also do you have scholarship? Uh, this way you can proceed with your decision and make sure that it is clear. Okay, so I hope that solves this scholarship uh, uh, question. Then how do you, can you be granted a scholarship? So all our scholarships are merit-based, which means that the best applicants and the best applications will get the scholarship. So we have 74 scholarships this year, to be very precise, dedicated to international students only. That's quite a lot. Uh, and as I said, they are for all programs, so everyone has a chance to get it. Uh, of course, as I said, there are partial scholarships, so you should also rely on uh, another type of funding. Okay, so once this is done, step number three, uh, you have to book the next appointments, which are campus friends. So for those who don't know, you have to go through this step. And then it's the visa step. Uh, as we are a recognized school and we recruit only, uh, we, we do not recruit a lot of students or a lot of international students in the role. So we recruit uh, a, a little bit around 300 students overall each new, each new year. So our uh, percentage of visa obtained is super high and we are proud of this. So we do not have a lot of visa refusals, hopefully, but then it's depending on, on, on you because you are the person applying for the visa in the end. And finally, step four, of course, is to prepare your arrival. So we make sure that we deliver you all the material you need um, to make sure that you are there on time, you are there in the right conditions and yeah. Okay. So I think I'm done with the admission, which was a big part. So sorry for talking a lot. <laughs>
And yeah, uh, I am actually almost finished. I hope I didn't talk too much. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not alone. <laughs> uh, I hope you can recognize which picture I'm on. Otherwise, that's that's not good for me. <laughs> but uh, we are a team and we are from all over the world. I am uh, not the only French per person here, but uh, there are area managers. So we have uh, my boss who's Italian. We have an area manager uh, in Africa one in uh, East, uh, Eastern Europe and Russia. Uh, we have also someone dealing with China and this is uh, this this is it pretty much. So uh, we are here to help you and I'm pretty sure that I can always answer a lot of your questions today. So I'm done with my presentation and I think I will be able to start answering the questions. Awesome. Thank you very much, Camille. It was super sure. interesting and cool. <laughs> and I hope Great. that the students liked it as well. I see a lot of questions here. Guys, if you want to ask anything to Camille, please type it on the questions tab because that is where I'm, I'm looking at the questions, not at the chat, at the questions tab, okay? Awesome. So um, here... Maria de los Angeles and also Marcelo are asking, um, what is the minimum and maximum age for applying? Yeah, so I mentioned that. Honestly, we do not have a age requirement on our side. As I said, also, if you apply to the bachelor in management, which is the, the bachelor in management is the undergraduate program. So that's what people do after uh, Oh, I have questions popping up. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, if you want to do the undergrad, uh, you will be around 18 years old. Uh, if you already have a bachelor's degree, you can apply for a master. So you can be a, almost any type of age. Uh, I can look into it in details if some of you have precise questions. Uh, honestly, we do not have an age requirement. What will be looked at also with when it comes to visa, the older you are, the more you need to justify uh, why you are coming, you, you want to study abroad. But that's not the, the case for us. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'm going to translate this because I saw the, okay. the question in Spanish and English. So, um, para María de los Ángeles, eh, no, hay edad, no hay edad mínima o máxima. Más bien depende como de si ya tienes una licenciatura o un bachelor, pues ya sería para el máster y, y así. Pero no tienes ninguna restricción de edad, pero entre más edad tengas, eh, tienes que justificar más eh, al momento de obtener tu visa. Ok, perfecto. Thank you very much. Sí, yeah, thanks. I understand no everything is Spanish, but talking sometimes is tricky. So. <laughs> I know. I totally get you. <laughs> Perfect. So Diego um, is asking about the scholarships. Can you please go through that again? Uh, yeah. So is there in? Yeah. So I think maybe ask the question before I explain, but no problem. So we have scholarships for all programs. All of them are merit based and are between 25 and 50 percent of the tuition fees. Um, so by applying, you automatically enroll for the scholarships, so you do not need to do another application or process to be granted a scholarship. Um, then what I can do, if you want, I can send you the link on our phone. If you go check our website, we have details about that, uh, but you, we have scholarship committees every month. So basically what I mean by that is that you can get a quick answer. It's probably... <laughs> Perfect. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Um, Clarissa here, I'm going to pop this in on stage, is mm -hmm. asking, I'm Brazilian, but I own an European passport. Can I apply to a scholarship without a visa to a master's degree? Can I apply to a scholarship without a visa? So, so I'm not sure I understand because the, the scholarship has nothing to do with the visa. To be okay. honest, uh, you can apply for sure. <laughs> you can have a scholarship for sure. <laughs> and then uh, if you have a European passport, I mean, 
good for you. Uh, the, maybe the, the, the process will be easier, but it doesn't make any difference. Um, I mean, you still have the same process as everyone and you have the same chances, chances as everyone to get uh, admission and a scholarship. So no worries about that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, here, someone is asking, I'm right now studying high school. Would it be possible to start my application? Uh, so you should start applying when you are finished. So, or at least in the last year of high school. Um, but yeah, obviously I would say now is the time to start uh, seeing what are your options because I never say it enough, but the more you anticipate, the better your chances of getting the right school and the right program for you, because then you have enough time to think, to decide, to compare. It's important. So yeah, if you are in the last year of your high school, it's time to apply now. Yeah. Perfect. Now. Okay. Uh, with for the scholarships again, do they have to do a different process besides the application process or it's the same? No, it is exactly the same. So if they, if you want to have a scholarship, the best thing you have to do is make sure that your application file is the best possible. So make sure that your resume is great, that your cover letter is awesome, that your transcripts are easy to read and very clear. Uh, and the oral motivation interview, we can help you prepare for it, of course. That's part of our job. So, But it's, it's very important for us to see people's personalities. So it's something that you have to train uh, a little bit but yeah that's it perfect i will translate that to spanish because i'm seeing sure. that in the question staff um para las becas eh, ustedes pueden aplicar se aplica directamente igual que en su application process para entrar a la universidad es lo mismo es el mismo proceso nada más se tienen que asegurar de que sus calificaciones se entiendan bien de que hagan un gran currículum de que tengan una gran um, carta que les piden para entrar y también hay una entrevista y tienen que prepararse muy bien para esa entrevista pero no tienen que hacer ningún trámite aparte es dentro de su trámite para um, de solicitud so all good there <laughs> yeah <laughs> perfect um Macarena here is asking if I, she's already studying university, so okay. she, can she still apply to a program in BSB? Uh, so I think she, she means that she finished high school and started the first year of university, I guess. So uh, she can apply, but she would need to start from the first year of the bachelor's degree, if that was the question. But yeah, of course, uh, no problem. I mean, we, we consider all students, so feel free to apply. <laughs> Perfect. Now, um, about the language. Is it necessary to know French? So I, I um, said it at the beginning, so maybe that's why there are some questions about it. No problem. Um, so. Our programs are English taught, I said it. Some of them are available in French, by the way, just in case uh, someone is interested, who knows. If you do not know any French, it's not a problem because it's not a requirement, first of all. And second of all, we will offer you, all of you, whatever your knowledge of French is, free French classes. So if you are just starting, we will do a beginner level. So but our goal is that you also feel good in your daily life. Um, so if you want to go to the groceries or talk to French citizens, I mean, it's still part of the culture also, and it's still something to add on your resume, even if it's beginner again. So that's why we, we, we did that. Perfect. Thank you very much. And about the English proficiency exams, which ones do you accept? So we accept any official test, uh, TOEIC, TOEFL, IELTS. Uh, we also accept Duolingo uh, since last year, because last year we still have people who couldn't uh, register for official tests in some countries. And uh, so we do accept Duolingo English. If you want further details, you can 
uh, ask me that I will send you this. Um, so any test as soon as it's valid. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, John here is asking something related to an Eiffel scholarship. That... Oh, yes, I know what it is. So Eiffel okay. scholarships. <laughs> yeah. So Eiffel scholarships are scholarship funded by uh, campus friends and the government. Um, so this is not something that we do, unfortunately. Uh, but I think that because we have our own scholarships, uh, it's still something that you can consider, of course. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um... Here, someone is asking if you can give some tips on the application process to ensure that yeah. they will have the best chance. Yeah, no problem. So first of all, I would say start applying when you are ready and not before. <laughs> uh, because if you keep things pending, it's never good in the sense that you can forget. So I would say you go look at the application form. We can tell you what's inside. Uh, it's not like it, it's public. So you can click anywhere on the website and you'll see. But we can tell you in advance if you prefer. Um, I would say the best thing is to do, first of all, do it when you are ready. Second, pay a lot of attention to the resume and the cover letter. I know it is something that you need to anticipate and it takes time. We can give you, me and my team, we can give you advice on this. Uh, not a lot of people ask for our advice, but sometimes we can see <laughs> that they should. <laughs> um, so don't hesitate, really. We're here to help. We are here to maximize your chances of being admitted. That's the role of our team. So uh, we, it's our job. So uh, don't hesitate. Then I would say that uh, also training for the oral motivation interview is quite important. So work on your motivations. And it's not like we're expecting certain types of answer. We're really wanting to know what are your motivations. Everyone's different. Everyone has different goals in life. So we're not expecting a typical answer. We're expecting a genuine uh, outcome. Well, I think that's everything I can say in a nutshell. <laughs> no, yeah, that's really good. Just be the best, uh, but be yourself. Exactly. Be mm -hmm. your best self, I would say. Oh, good, good one. <laughs> I read that down. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, Camille. Sure. Joanna here is saying, I'm on I am 28 years old. I'm a sales manager and I would like to start the master's degree as soon as possible. What is the documentation? Um, like date, language? Can you go through the application process? Of course. Once more. Uh, so uh, let me just hand her the um, the correct URL first of all, so that uh, she can save it and check it because that's quite specific. Uh, so Joanna, I sent you the link to the program that you are, uh, I think, looking for. Um, if it's not this one, you have other masters. I, I don't know if you followed the presentation, but we have several types of masters. In any case, that you can navigate on the website. So uh, it's OK if you have work experience. It's not something that is a problem at all. I would say that uh, so the documentation is what I said. So the attachments are almost the same for everyone. So resume, cover letter, copy of passport, uh, photo, transcripts of the previous degree, copy of the last degree. Um, what else? Uh, in English proficiency test if you're not a native speaker. And uh, that's it, I guess. So if I'm not forgetting anything, um, but it's quite classic. It's really, uh, we really want to know about your background and education. Um, and what, uh, so dates, so applications are open uh, at the moment, okay. And we have rolling admissions on purpose. So you can apply anytime and you will get an answer in less than usually three weeks. Okay. We try to do two weeks, but we have a lot of applications. So, um, so we, we try to be as fast as possible so that you can proceed with your decision. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. I hope Perfect. it answers the question. Thank you very much. I think it does. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Camille. Now, um, 
talking about accommodation, do you offer any accommodation for international students? Yes, yeah, so of course, uh, as I said in my presentation, we are we have something specific to us. We are located in the city center of the of Dijon and and Lyon. So uh, 120 years ago, dorms were not built <laughs> in the campuses. So we do not be, we do not have built-in dorms per se. But because we want to make sure that you have the best experience, we have our own booking platform so that you can book the accommodation you want only for BSB students, only for BSB international students, by the way, uh, so that you can pick dep depending on your criteria. If your criteria is the the price the of the rent, okay, uh, maybe that's your criteria. Maybe your criteria is to be as close as possible to the campus. Or I have people who want to be as far as possible of the campus. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean that's that's okay. But so on this website is super easy, and it's um, only accommodations that we check. So we're sure that there's no problem whatsoever. Um, but yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. That's very cool. Yeah. unusual the part of as far as possible but yeah it <laughs> can happen because the 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 reason because i asked was actually i want to see to walk to force myself to walk every day oh i'm like okay. oh that's a good plan actually yeah you know so he works one hour every day but because of you know I'm, i think it's understandable <laughs> yeah it's a it's a good motivation. I have to walk every day, otherwise I won't get to class. <laughs> <laughs> I <Yeah>. liked it. <laughs> now, um, do you have any kind of internships and are the students able to have a work permit while studying in BSB? So yeah, so any student who studies with us will be able to work during the studies. Of course, so that's a possibility. The maximum is 20 hours a week um that's a possibility as i said that's something i did myself i would not recommend that you rely on this because studying abroad is sometimes it's harsh i mean you still have to adapt to another culture and we want our students to focus as much as they can on their education of course i understand so you need you need to to, to pay for the rent right uh, but it's not by working so much outside of the classroom that you will fund all your living expenses anyways. You still can do that, obviously. That's why we also we provide the French classes, because so that it might be easier for you to find uh, these jobs. Um, and then about the internships, it was also, yeah. yeah. Uh, so internships for any program that you might choose with us, we will ask you to do an internship during the summer, because uh, the goal is that you have experience before you end the program and you have a better employability towards the companies. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's super interesting. Um, here, Joanna is asking uh, if you need the documents up, 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 yet, up, up yet? Oh, mm. yes. Yeah, I, I know. So I think um, it's the um, like official tampon or something. Like yes, exactly. That. I think that's what. Uh, so uh, I, I'm not sure of what document we're talking about. Is, if, if it's for the diploma, yes. If you do not have your diploma yet, but I think Joanna, in her case, she was uh, working. So I hope that she already has her diploma. Uh, I think so. So in your case, Joanna, if we're talking about the diploma, yes. Uh, for those who are not finished with their studies, obviously, we know that you don't have your diploma, so we can't ask for this. But if you're talking about the translation, though, because that might be the case, um, we just need the documents to be translated in English or in French. So, Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, let me, this is, this is very long, so let me give it just a, a look. Okay. Okay, so John is asking, is there a way to travel and pay while working on France? If I get a scholarship, do I have to, the, to pay on that way? Like, imagine, it's like an uh -huh. imaginary situation. He has 50% uh, of scholarship 
and can he pay the other 50 percent working oh in okay months? yeah i i understand uh that's a good question unfortunately i don't think that would be possible because even if you let's say you have the 50 percent scholarship so first of all congrats because uh, <laughs> it means you are part of the best students um so uh, i don't know if you followed what i said about the admissions but let me rephrase that you will need to pay a deposit once you are admitted to be confirmed for the program this deposit is depending on the programs but four thousand euros so this is in deduction of the tuition fees of course but it means that you have you still have to have some money ahead uh, i don't think you can plan any not only our school uh, any real study plan this way i wouldn't recommend because we are talking about the tuition fees but also the living expenses have to be taken into consideration you know wherever you are going i mean france is quite an affordable country compared to the usa or uk but still uh you still need to make sure that you are living decently and the goal is not to be in a bad situation so i I, first of all, I don't think it's possible. At least for us, it's not possible. Um, second, I wouldn't recommend, of course not. Yeah, I think uh, there are, in that case, maybe you can find a government funded scholarship, which would make it 100% funded in that case. That could be a, a possibility. Uh, yeah. Some scholarships yeah, are cumulative, by the way. Oh, yes, that's right. Actually, Joanne, if you can look even for a scholarships like in your own country sometimes the government from your countries have the possibility Correct. so you can mix and Correct. yeah it happens every year we have students who can manage to do that so it's doable <laughs> yeah you just have to find a way but yes totally awesome thank you very much josias i'm sorry okay I will say this in Spanish. Uh, si quieres preguntar cualquier cosa en español, yo la puedo traducir para Camil y traducirte la respuesta mm -hmm. a ti. Entonces, cualquier duda sí. que tengas, la puedes poner en español. Perfect, guys. Uh, we're reaching. Um, so, if you want to send more questions, remember that they have to be on the question stuff because that way it's easier for me um, to manage. So. Gabriel is, do I need to speak French and English or only English is okay? Uh, for the language of the program, so English or I'm not sure. I English think that too. for studying like in general. So you, you, our programs are taught in English. So yes, you can definitely, uh, I, I think that's the best choice in that case. If that was the question, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Diego Salazar. Okay, so there are no scholarships completely, like completely. No, funded. yeah, we do not have hundred percent scholarships. Uh, I don't really know any school who does that, but yeah, I'm sorry. Fifty percent is already a lot. So yes, it is a huge help. Yeah. A huge, huge help. Well, you know, we have to pay our teachers so that they give you a good education, <laughs> <and> otherwise. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> awesome, guys. So, um, Camille, they are asking about the programs again. So, can you um, just list very briefly the programs that you offer? Sure. Um, so, um, we have programs from undergraduate to postgraduate levels. Uh, uh, let me list of programs. So let me just put that in the chat just in case uh, that someone wants to click on it. So I put the URL in the chat uh, with the list of our programs. Uh, you can see it there. Uh, by the way, let me share my screen if I can this way. So this is the URL I just gave you. Okay. Let me just scroll. So BSB's programs, we have three undergraduate program, the bachelor in management, the two-year master in management, the one-year MSCs, which we have eight of those, and we have the wine-related programs. So you can check all of them in that, in that web page. We also have a reminder on how uh, 
that Mitchells are working, the difference between each program. Uh, I mean, you need some time to dive into all this, but I think, uh, yeah, it's quite a good page for those who couldn't follow the presentation. At least you have something. And on the website, I'm saying it also, uh, you can uh, ask us the questions on the contact form, take appointment with me and any of my team members at any time. So do not hesitate to navigate. Awesome. Thank you very much. And one of the last questions that I have here is, do you have any like financial plans, like where they can pay monthly or something like that? Mm -hmm. So uh, the way it works currently is that the tuition fees are divided into three parts. So one part is the deposit that I mentioned earlier, and the rest of the tuition fees are divided into two equal parts. Half of it is in September. So when the e intake happens basically and the other half is in january so that's how it goes then obviously if you need uh, a plan our accounting department is is nice <laughs> but that's how how it works yeah perfect and um luciana here is asking something uh about the visa so do you do you help the students with all the visa process do you do you assist them in any way uh, yeah, so what we help with is all the documentation that might support your admission, obviously. So we provide that as soon as you are admitted and as soon as you are confirmed in the classroom. So as soon as the um, the, the deposit is paid, basically. So that's how we do. Then we each country has or almost uh, its own regulations. And the way that embassies and consulates work can be quite different. So because it's your personal uh, data that's in there, we cannot interfere. That's how it works. We are here to support, but we are we cannot do things for you and instead of you. So that's I hope that answers the question. And then depending on the country you allocated it, we have a network of agencies that we are we trust fully to support you. So you can ping me with your details and I'll let you know. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Camille. Okay, so I guess we have reached the end of the of the live. Thank you, everyone, for for joining. I don't know, Camille, if you want to add any anything else. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, I was really happy that you guys were uh, asking a lot of questions. I mean, it's super. I really like when students uh, ping with a lot of questions, and uh, also it was really nice to see by the the diversity, like. You come from so many different countries. It's 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 great. Um, I really hope that I delivered you the good information, what you needed, and yeah, please keep in contact with us <laughs> so that we can proceed with helping you. Thank you, thank you very much, Camille. And if you want to just drop the contact information there in the chat so everyone can get it, that would be awesome. Yeah, let me do that. And. Perfect. And I just want to thank everyone for joining us today, for sharing with us a little bit of your afternoons. Um, I hope that you find this live session super helpful for you. And I really wish um, you the best and hope to see you soon in the, at BSB. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks a lot for your attention. Bye, everyone. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.